Hello YouTube and welcome to my week 9 match of season 3 of the PBF. I am Poketag90, the coach of your Dallas Star Youth. We're currently 5-3, and three, coming off a very brutal loss, which I haven't even had the strength to upload yet because I was so distraught afterwards. Um, I'll try to get that up before the season ends, but I just, I did absolutely everything wrong. Um, but that was then, and this is now. We're looking to turn things around this match, uh, which is a division match with the L.A. Landers, coached by Captain Mustang132 on Twitter. So looking at team preview, we see he's got Uxi, Golurk, Mega Metacham, Thunderous Eye, x -Plot, and Honchgrove. So he doesn't have Landris T, he doesn't have Gardevoir, he doesn't have Kingdra, he doesn't have Metagross. I don't remember who the last one would be, but those were all things I was nervous about, and they aren't there. So I'm excited, particularly the Lando T and the Metagross not existing. Although... I am a little disappointed then with these things all gone. I could have been able to do Mega Tyranitar and Excadrill shenanigans, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I mentioned if you watch my team building video that I messed up two things before starting the battle. So I forgot to drop Waterfall on Azu for knockoff um, to handle the Uxie, and I forgot to give Articuno its choice scarf. <laughs> um, I was having some troubles. I got an Articuno that ended up being hacked, so when I went to battle it wouldn't go through. Very long story, not fun. So I, instead of having the Articuno, I had this other one, I just threw it in with, it was missing one of the moves I wanted, and it doesn't have the choice scarf. Um, so hopefully, you know, luck isn't completely against us as I've already put us in a bad position. You know, we have this is week 9, so after this week, we have, what, 10, 11, 12, so three weeks left in the regular season. I have a chance of making the playoffs. I will do it my best to stop letting you guys down as your coach. Uh, but, you know, cheer hard for the team. We will have a battle uh, starting right now. Alright, so here we are with the match. So, he is going to lead Thunderous, and I decided I'm going to lead my Fortress. So I'm thinking he could have HP fire, um, but I'm just gonna try to set up rocks, and like an amateur, taunt can't use it. So I predict a volt switch, I think. But he hard switches actually to the X Cloud. And I had switched into my Celebi to take the volt switch and or to try and combat a nasty plot, but I switch right back out to Jellicent, expecting a Fire Blast, but he went right for Boom Burst. Curse Body activates. Doing the calcs, I find out that that is Specs. And since Curse Body activated, he can't use it. He would have to struggle, so I know he's going to switch out. I could go for Recover, but in the chance he switches out to Meta, uh, Mega Metacham, I have to go for the bullet. I just, I can't risk letting him get that free switch when he's faster. Um, I know Recover would have been safer, especially since he went to Thunderous, Recover would have been better, but still, got the burn. Residual damage on this thing is going to be good because it is a problem for my team since I don't have Sand or the Ground type uh, executed. So here I decide... You know, maybe he's gonna go for something cheeky, but he's probably just gonna Volt Switch or Thunderbolt. And Articuno, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I was loving the idea of you, but without the Choice Scarf, you were pretty much useless. So, sacrifice, and I am down 6-5. Uh, so, send him my Northern. I'm like, okay, perfect. So, we know I outspeed. He revealed Taunt. And he revealed Thunderbolt. He does have a Thunder Wave. I'm like, ugh. But with Fortress, with my team, probably HP fighting or HP. So yeah, I'm, I'm fully paralyzed though. So I don't get to Oko that with the uh, Draco that I went for. Um, but I'm like, well, he shouldn't have HP Ice as well. Probably HP fighting for Mega Titar. Nope, he has HP Ice. So that one goes in order. So I'm down 4 6. So, so much for uh, not having terrible luck after me putting us in a bad position as a bad coach with the team building and then not prepping things right. So, Selby comes in, he goes for Thunder Wave. I was nervous he was going to go for Taunt, um, but he didn't, and I go for Calm Mind to weaken the damage. HP Ice is the strongest he has. 
uh, plus one, it's like a four hit KO or something. I mean, it's it's nothing. Because um, I'm a very bulky Selby. And the burn is racking up a ton of damage on this dude. He's gonna switch out. I really, really, really thought he was gonna go for taunt. So I just went for the best move to hit hit, uh, hit the Thunderous, which was Psychic. And we can see it does about 60% to the Golurk. And he has Leftovers. Leftovers Girl Golurk, even if he's max investment. Shadow Punch is the strongest thing he can have, um, which is right there. It did more than half, but I get my heal bell off. So I'm not paralyzed anymore. I get Leftover Recovery. And plus one special D. No longer paralyzed, so I'll be faster. Um, which we saw with the leftover turns there. So I go for the Giga Drain, which is super effective, so it takes it out. And I get a decent amount of HP back. I'm gonna be back to about three fourths of my HP, and I'm down four or five now. Now obviously we know who's gonna come in here. Punch crap. So now I have to play the shenanigans, the sucker punch pursuit. Everyone's favorite game. Goes for sucker punch. Fails because I go for Calm Mind. I need to bait him going for the Brave Boy. Because, you know, Pursuit. I expect him to go for Pursuit that turn. So now I'm going to switch out for the Fortress. And he actually goes for Sucker Punch again. So that's two Sucker Punches. And now he's going to switch out. So I don't know if he's choice in some way, maybe, but on the switch, I went for the Gyro Ball, and it does, like, nothing to X-Cloud. And X-Cloud goes for Fire Blast. Again, I know that he is choice specs, um, sturdy, and no burn. No burn, so I do get my rocks up. Now, knowing he's choice locked into the Fire Blast, thinking there's a chance he might switch... My Jellicent doesn't really have enough, enough HP to want to switch in and take two of this, though. So I'm just going to let Fortress go down, which puts me at 3-5, and I'm going to send in Ozzy. I need to make something happen, and this is my best chance. I know he has to switch, or he has to go for Fire Blast. As long as he doesn't stay in, go for Fire Blast, and get the burn, I'm in a good position. Oopsie comes out as I get off my belly drum. This is it. So, unfortunately, because I have an odd number of HP and there were no rocks up, I don't get the citrus, which is terrible. And he has a second member on his team carrying Thunder Wave. So, I'm not fully paralyzed the first turn of paralysis. So I'm able to get the player off off, which takes out the Uxi. So, because it hit, it didn't matter that I didn't have knockoff. In comes Hunch Grip. Sucker Punch is not going to be enough to take me out, so he doesn't even go for it. My Aqua Jet, not fully paralyzed, take that out. I went from a 3-5 to 3-3. In comes Mega Medicham, the Sensei. Now, here's, here's something I personally, I feel was a misplay for him. I think Mega Medicham should have came in last turn. But, he goes Mega. And he is carrying the fake out, which we can see takes me from 104 down to 50. So it did 54 damage. Citrus gets me back up to 101. And I fudge. So two more would have taken me out. He goes for bullet punch, which is only neutral, no stab, so it does about the... It actually did two damage less, but it does the same damage as fake out. I'm able to take it out with Aqua Jet there. But... If he'd have just switched out and switched back in to get the fake out again, he could have done it. So, we're 3-2, switches in the Thunderous, rocks are up, Thunderous goes down, I'm winning 3-1 right now. So, there's one Mon left, it's the x -Cloud. Stones, and I'm fully paralyzed. The Aqua Jet doesn't come through. He actually had typed um, in, on Twitter, GG before the fully para happened. I'm like, come on, you know how this how this has been going for me. So we're in trouble. So he's boom burst, but she's used three already. I'm gonna send in Jellicent, hope for the cursed body. Um he actually gets a crit, so had I switched 
to my last Mon Celebi, it would have been bad, but don't get the curse body that time. So, in comes Celebi. I'm nearly at full. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I go for Calm Mind. Because I'm like, I can take it a little better. I don't have recover on this guy. Remember, I have Heal Bell, Calm Mind, Giga Drain, and Psychic. Boom Burst from 164 does 102 damage to 60. Uh, to, set, or, well, to 62, and then I get up to 74, so it would kill me. Get the Giga Drain off. So I heal up, so I should live with, like, 15-ish. Goes for Boom Burst, and don't you get a fucking crit here. So it just, thank god. I was so nervous. So, no crit, I'm healed back up. Go for the Giga Drain. I should've went for Psychic, because it is stronger, and... I, I was pretty confident Giga would have done it, but Psychic would have been good, but either way, Giga does it, so I win, one nothing. such a stressful close match, so excited that I was able to come through, um, in spite of everything that happened, including my mistakes with the team building, you know, my leaving a lot of my strongest mods behind, not giving the right move to Azumarill, not giving the right item to... <laughs> Articuno, um, but it all came through. Very, very proud of my play, not of my team building, but anyways, a win's a win. We'll take it. Six and three. That moves us to number two in the division, so we are in the playoff race, um, but I think in two weeks is when we take on my cousin slash rival Andy, aka Nina Mori fanboy, um, which will essentially determine who's in the playoffs. If I win, I'm in. If I lose, it comes down to who has a better differential, and he is ahead of me, I think, two right now for the differential. Plus, the last week, I have against the undefeated Montreal Monferners. So, that's another thing that's very nerve-wracking. But, uh, let me know down below what you thought of the battle. Were you as psyched as I was? Um, did you, you know, did you have a heart attack with all of the paralysis potentials? Um, yeah, just let me know everything you think below. Um, likes and comments are cool. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I will be having the first battle from the MMBA that I am in soon. And then obviously week 10 is coming up right around the corner. Thanks for watching.